he likes to go early. That's the way he plays it. Nothing unusual about that. They'll all have been half expecting it. And Vanderpool just wants to flex those muscles a little bit. And Ineos uh, see that Ghana has been closed down. So Egan Bernal leaps clear of the rest. The Colombian 2019 Tour de France champion hits the next climb of the day. And he hasn't had a chance to get the tinfoil off that, uh, or is it a gel wrapper? I'm not so sure, whatever it is, he hasn't time to eat it, but Matthew van der Poel. He's got to find a big gear, get the dinner in, and make them chase. Oh, problems for Pagacha, the overall race leader. Feeling the pain, and here comes Pogacar to drive a knife into the ambitions of others, and Wout van Aert's not able to instantly respond to that one. 1,400 metres remain as we arrive back into Castel Fidardo. But Matthew van der Poel is pedalling squares. He's running on empty. Is there anything left in those legs? 1,100 metres remaining for your leader, and Pogacar is coming with a run, but it's going to be too little too late, surely. He's out on his wheels, but he's the winner of Stage 5 of Terreno Adriatico.